would like to have a little lecture about defensive footwork with a special focus on pivoting. What I believe is the tool um, to get faster on the floor. And at the same time, um, I want to talk about a, a rebounding concept and especially rebounding um, for, for players with lower athletic abilities or smaller uh, players. Um, why, why, I choose a little, uh, why I choose individual topic is that I feel many coaches only care about what to teach. And I think all of you know many systems but uh, not too many coaches care about how to teach. And this is uh, what I would like to emphasize today, um, give you a lot of tiny things, teaching points, where um, that players can help uh, to improve the individual game. Okay, it's just a, a little warming up menu where we um, work on, on rhythm and uh, defensive footwork, first of all, we, we make sure that we keep our feet shoulder wide apart, okay? Keep your feet shoulder wide apart, and then we make a three-step motion, okay? Very simple, we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? You don't, you don't have to stand on the, on the ball of your feet, okay? So you don't have to bring your heels up, but your body weight is in front of your feet, okay? So you have light feet, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we do this in a rhythm, pop, 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 okay? At the same time, you move the ball from one side to the other. One, two, three, one, two, three. Don't bring your feet together, okay? Keep your feet shoulder wide apart. Okay, good, stop, that's good. So now, we work on the element and the technique that makes a big difference in terms of moving pace, okay? It is the pivot and the step at the same time. You pivot, bring your heel up, you turn on the front part of your foot at the same time you step and you push off the outside foot. Okay, try this first. Pivot and step. Turn, step, push. Don't twist, very important, do not twist, okay? That's a slow technique. We pivot and step, we pivot and step. Okay, and now we combine this with the rhythm, okay? We couple, we combine these moves, okay? Watch first, we go one, two, three, pivot, step. Pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, step. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, try this. Let's go, let's go. One, two, three, pivot and step. Pivot and step, pivot, step, pivot, step. Good. And keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Pivot and step. All right, good. Now we combine this with a dribble. We combine this with a dribble. Okay, first of all, we go into proper dribble stance. Okay. Top of your foot, knee, shoulder on one line. And we make six, dri six dribbles below your knees, between your feet. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we do the same thing. One, two, three. Pivot, step. Pivot, step. Okay? Pivot, step. And then dribble the ball below your knee, between your feet. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Six times first. Stop, 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 okay? Dribble stance not like this. You're off balance when your head is in front of your knees, okay? Your head must stay above your knees, right here. This is proper dribble stance, okay? Let's go. Okay, and look, go. One, two, three, pivot and step, pivot and step, pivot and step, pivot and step, pivot and step. One, two, three, one, two, three, pivot and step, pivot and step. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, exercise. One, two, three, pivot, step. Okay, stop, stop. So we see uh, already some problems with coupling. Players have a hard time to, to combine moves at the same time to do different things at the same time. But this is what the basketball game is all about. If you have dribble moves, yeah, we have to combine the pivot, the dribble motion, uh, faking with the shoulders, whatever. And uh, without coupling ability, we are not able to make smooth motions and fast motions. Okay? Why I think um, the pivot is the tool to pace up the individual game okay, is like on, on the offensive end, we see too many players, when they go one-on-one, -on -one, they push off the whole foot. 
Yeah? But when you push off the whole foot, you can make an explosive move. Okay? Only if you, if you have the ability to pivot, then you can push um, off your back foot like a sprinter. Okay? When you see a sprinter, how he starts, okay? a sprinter will always start like this, right? This is explosive, boom. A sprinter will never start like this. Okay? This is not explosive. So it's the same concept here okay? with the pivoting concept, okay? the good pivoting uh, technique. You have the ability to pace up your game. All right? Good. So do it, do it one more time. Do it one more time. Good uh, proper dribble stance. Okay? One line, six dribbles, six dribbles, and then after six dribbles, okay? one, two, three, pivot and step, pivot and step, and go, and go. Okay, stop, stop. Good. Now the next technique we want to work on is how to move, how to move on the ball. Okay, and this is something um, when you watch basketball 10, 15, 20 years ago, almost every player in the world moved like step and slide, step and slide, step and slide, which is not a bad technique. It's still a solid technique, but it's a kind of slow. And in our days, you see many players in the top level, they move step, 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 step. The stepping foot, the push off the outside foot, step, step. And that makes them much faster. It's a little thing, little, little change that can make a quite big speed difference. Okay, and that's the next thing we work on. Okay, you get a partner, you get a partner. Come here, come here, what's your name? Marek. Marek, Marek, come here, we demonstrate. Come here, come here, come here. We demonstrate for the coaches. Okay, you're on the, yeah, stay, stay on, the, on, on the white line. First of all, go to, go to defense stance. Come here, come here. Go to defense stance. Okay, good. So now, this is good. Marek does a nice job. He's not too wide, okay? Many players make the mistake that they stay too wide. And that's what you find in many textbooks, basketball textbooks. Wide stance, stay low. But with this stance, it's impossible to move fast. If you have this kind of stance, it's impossible to start with the outside foot. You must move with the inside foot first, and then your body doesn't move at all. So you get beat. Okay? So have your feet a little wider than shoulders, okay? and then you have, you're able to make aggressive, explosive sidestep. Okay? Now I pass you the ball to one side. Okay? You have your hands ready. If your hands ready, okay? your head must look, look, your head is too far in front. When your head is too far in front, boom, you lose balance. Okay? Bring your head back above your knees, that's good. Hands ready, hands ready. Now I give you a bounce pass and you go step, step. You bring your body in position first before you catch the ball. Don't use your hands before your body is in position. Okay, get low, ready hands, step, step, good. Now don't jump, don't jump. One foot stays on the floor, step, step. But I can't see your feet leaving the floor. It's very important that we don't step, 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 step. You can see the feet leaving the floor, okay? Go down, step, step, good. Step, step, good. Step, step, good. Step, step, good. Step, step. Okay, and now we, we combine this with the coordination drill. Give me the ball. Give me this ball. Okay, now we also work on reaction. And this is important. Um, reaction is another coordinative ability. Um, some coaches train reaction. Okay, I've seen this many times. And you always train reaction with a whistle. And now we must consider on how basketball players have to react in a game. When they react on a whistle, what happens in the game? When the whistle is blown, the game is interrupted, the game is dead. So 90% of all information players receive are visual information. So we have to train them to react on visual signs, on visual signals. Okay? So train their eyes, and that's what we do here. Okay? We, we give ball signals, and he must react um, on the ball signals. Now look, I dribble both balls, and I give, give you either a right-hand pass or a left-hand pass, and you must move to the, to the right side and catch the ball, okay? Look. Oh! <laughs> now look. 
when I give you a longer pass, I give you a longer pass, you go step, 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 catch. Okay? Step, 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 catch. Good. 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 Now look, your problem is still. Now, this is the second teaching point to keep balance. The first one is to keep your head above your knees so you have good balance in this direction. Okay? The second teaching point is you must keep your head between your shoulders. Okay? When you move, don't move your head. You must minimize upper body motion. Okay? You go here. Step, step. Step, step. Okay? Do not go like this. All right? Minimize upper body motion. And go. Boom. Good. Boom. Step, step. Ooh. Okay, ball. Good. All right, on a standard drill, we do this 10 times. We give 10 passes. And after 10 passes, you change. Okay, let's go. Partner, partner, two steps distance. Guys, come to this floor, please. This floor. And stop, 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 stop. Okay, make it nice for the, for the video taking. Okay, make two lines. Okay, player with the balls here, player without the balls here. And we're all on this half court, please. All on this half court. Let's go. Move here, move here. Okay, good. Okay, two, two pairs can stay there. That's fine. That's fine. Two pairs can stay here. Get a little space. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't use your hands too early. Don't use your hands too early. Move your body first. Bring your body in position first before you use your hands. Good. Stop, 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 stop. Don't jump. Step, step. Step, step. Step, step. Don't jump off the floor, okay? Okay, coaches, now we go to the first skill drill, technique drill. And here we work on positioning, positioning, footwork for positioning. How to move from deny into help and help into deny. Okay, stop. Stop. Good. So now let's have uh, two passes here. One passer here, one passer there. And then we have offense, defense, offense, defense. You have no balls. Only the pass has a ball. You have a ball. You have a ball. Stay here. No ball, no ball, Marek, no ball. And offense, defense, be on offense, you're on defense, no ball. You're on offense, you're on defense, no ball. Okay, on the wing position, on the wing position. Okay, here's the first example how proper pivoting helps us to pace up our speed on defense. Okay, um, here's what we do. On ball side, we on deny, okay? On ball side, we on deny. So you put your chin on the shoulder to see the ball. You have the hand in the passing lane. Okay, good. This arm is here that you don't grab his uniform when you get tired. Okay, good. So you're on help position. You're away from the ball. Okay, good. So now, here's the thing, and that, that is crucial. Okay, That's, I feel it's very important that players learn to sprint to help position instead of sliding to help position. And we see so many players, more than 80%, I would, I would say, they go from deny and then they slide to help position. And that is a way too slow when you play against this fast team. Okay? Players need to learn, they must make this a habit. Go there, wait a moment. Okay? They must learn to pivot from deny into sprint position. And now they decide whether they go for help, to sprint for help, or they just sprint into help position. Great players sprint, 
okay? And terrible players slide to position, okay? So if you see, okay, there's no penetration, no penetration, you go one, two, and then help position. But maybe you have to help, okay? And maybe you have to help, and then you're in perfect position to sprint and play help defense, okay? You can't do this when you slide, you're too slow, okay? You must stay low on defense, and how to stay low is elbow. Okay? When you bring your elbow up, and it's a bad habit, your body gets up. You must bring your elbow down to the floor so your body stays low, you're in a nice low position to sprint. Okay? So deny, sprint position, two steps to help. Okay? What you do, you're in help position, and when you move from help to deny, you also push off your outside foot. You push off, boom, and then you deny, okay? That's a little thing, little thing that can make a big difference because if you start like this, you slide, okay? And you can't cover that much space. Look, pivot, you can cover the space to three-point line, but when you start with a, with a, with a pivot here, Okay, your hand is in a passing lane, so you can't pass the ball. Okay, so deny, help, pass the ball, and go. Okay, pass the ball, and go. Pass the ball, stay low. Okay, look, again. I know, it's not that easy, okay? Boom, push, push. Okay, and you pivot down, boom. Right? So now, they make one more mistake. They make one more mistake. And this mistake is a common mistake with most players. They don't move when the ball moves. They watch the ball. They watch the ball. And that's a big mistake. They watch the ball when the ball's in the air and then they move and it's too late. Okay? You must learn to anticipate. And the tool for anticipation is don't move when the ball moves. Move when the shoulders of the passer move. When the shoulders of the passer move, you must pivot. And you're on the way when the ball is on the way. Okay? Because when the shoulders of the passer move, they won't do this. They will pass. So you can read this action. Okay? Smart players anticipate. When the shoulders of the passer turn, you move. Yes, very good. And go. Sprint. So he's in position at the time he catches the ball. Okay? That's the key. And you must do the same. Okay? When you see the shoulders of the passer turn, okay, you pivot. You pivot. Pivot. Boom. And deny. And you're in the passing lane at the time he catches the ball. Okay? So we do this four times. Four passes. And you take a little time. Okay? You make a pass fake here. Pass fake. And then you give over at pass. Okay? Good. Let's go. Good. Boom. Okay, and go. Don't watch the ball. Watch the shoulders. Watch the shoulders. You move too late. Watch the shoulders. Shoulders, go. You, watch, you move too late. You must watch the shoulders. Shoulders, shoulders, pivot. Shoulders, pivot, and go. Okay, good. So stop. And now the last one. Did your coach tell you to talk on defense? Talking on defense. Your coach taught you that? Yes? Good. Then do it. Okay? At the time you move, you're here and deny. Okay? You're on help. You go there, help defense. You say, help. 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 Not from here, from here. Help. 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 Good. Okay? You're on deny. Okay? Now look. Now look. Shoulders, go. Help. Now you say deny. Because you're on deny. Okay? You're on deny. When you move next time, you say, help. I say deny. Okay? Deny. Help. Deny. Go, 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 go. Deny. Let's go. Help. Good. And go. Good. Stop. After four passes, we change. Okay? Defense goes to the line. You make two lines. Make, make a line here. Make a line. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Line there. Okay. Now, offense becomes defense. Defense goes to the line. Passer becomes offense. Give him the ball. Okay, and go, and go, and talk, and talk, and talk. Let's go. Sprint, sprint. Don't slide. You slide too much. Okay? 
elbow down, sprint position, one, two. Two sprints from den two sprint steps from deny to help. Yeah, let's go. Deny, deny, deny. That's that must stop, stop, stop. That's a good pass. Why don't you deny? Deny. Be in the passing lane. Okay? Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Deny. And go. Four passes. Be in the passing lane. Yeah? Let's go. Sprint. Don't slide. Don't pass him. Don't give him the ball. Just pass up and down. Don't, don't give him the ball. It's a defense drill. Just pass up and down. Come on. Let's go. Deny. And help. Okay. Four passes. Change. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Change. 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 Quick. Let's go. Move. Go. Move. Shoulders. Move. Shoulders. Move. Stop. 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 Shoulders move. Look. Look. Same, same thing. If you go out here, you're too wide. There's no way you can defend a backdoor cut. If he goes backdoor, he will beat you. Okay? Because then you have to go like this. Okay? If he goes backdoor, boom. You pivot, you sprint with him. Okay? Let's go. No backdoor. Go. Go. And pass. Good. And pass. And pass. Good. And pass. Good. Good. Change. Change. Four pass. Change. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go. Let's go. Deny. And help. Talk, 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 talk. Don't slide. Sprint to position. Sprint to position. If you slide, you're too slow. Good. Stop. Change. Let's go. Next. And go. Okay, stop. So, so you started, right? You started. Okay, now we have the next one. Now we make him go back door. Okay? You're denying here. You're denying here. Deny. Give him the ball. Denying. And then you go back door. One, then pass, and out, and two, and out, okay? Two rounds respect door, okay? Now here's the thing. What you do is this, okay? You move from help to deny, okay? Make sure you have your, your feet are not too much wide in shoulders because you need to react on a spector cut, okay? When he goes back door, again, you pivot and push off the outside foot. Don't slide, because with sliding, you can guard him. He sprints. It's a hard backdoor cut. When he goes, boom, sprint with him. Sprint with him. He goes out, boom, sprint with him. Okay? Boom, sprint with him. Sprint. Okay? So you pivot and sprint. So you have the same speed. You have equal speed, and you can stay in the passing lane. Okay? So now look. His responsibility is to cover the area between three-point line, shooting range, and paint. Everything that comes in the paint it's a help side. It's a help side ball. Okay? You must give help side. Okay? When he goes back door, did deny, deny, deny. Go outside, go outside. Okay? When he goes back door, back door, boom. You help here. Stay. Now look in the game. Even if he's late, even if he's late, stay there. And I'm here. Would you pass the ball? Would you pass the ball? Would you pass in the game? No, would, would you pass the ball in the game? Tell me. In the game, give him the ball. It's a question. You wouldn't. You wouldn't because you see my hands here, right? I'm right here. Okay? That's what we want. Okay? We want to show I'm ready for help side. I want to show my hands so he doesn't pass the ball. Okay? Good. We do it two times. Okay? Two times back door, back deny, back door, help. Out, back door, help. Okay? And now, Pass, deny, back door, and you must give help. Good, out. Back door, good, and out. All right, all right. Yeah, we go two times for positioning. Okay, look. Deny, no, no back door cut, no back door cut. Just positioning first, okay? One, deny. But no back door cut, stay, 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 stay. No back door cut. Two passes, no back door cut, okay? Two passes. And on after second pass, back door. Boom. Back door. And help. And out. And back door. And out. Good. Shoulders. Shoulders turn. Move. Move. Shoulders. Deny. Back door. Help. Out. Back door. Out. Shoulders turn. Hard back door cut. Boom. That's you. Okay? That's your ball. All right? Understand? We do two passes for positioning. Then we go two times back door. One, two, one, two. The final pass. Boom. Back door pass. Hard back door cut. Back door pass. Weak side help. Okay? See if we can do it. Let's go. Deny. Stop, 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 stop. Don't change my drill. 
Don't change my drill. Okay? So two passes first. Let's go. Deny. Deny. Good. Talk. Help. Good. Talk. Good. Back door. One. Help side. Two. What are you doing? You're frozen. <laughs> You're frozen. Okay? Back door. Deny. Back door. Help. Out. Help. Out. And de defense. Defense. Back door. Help side. Okay. Okay. Good. And change. And change. And change. Let's go. Two pass positioning first, then two backdoor cuts. Let's go. Here's a backdoor cut, here's a backdoor cut. Help and out. Deny. Help side. Backdoor. One. Backdoor two. And sprint, 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 sprint. See, you're not in sprint position, you'd come too late. Okay? You must give up your deny, your sprint, your sprint, okay? And you can steal the ball. Okay, change. Come on, talk, 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 talk. Okay, stop, stop. Good. So coaches, of course, we need much more time to, uh, to practice this. Okay? But the main focus here is how to pivot. How pivoting helps us to accelerate. How to, uh, to increase the moving speed on defense. Okay? And again, it's not what we teach. I mean, everybody knows to play help side. Everybody knows when the ball's on the other side, I have to play help side. But not too many players know how to get there. How to get there on time. Okay? And that's the thing. We must teach them how to get there. Not to slide there, because with sliding they're too slow. You must learn to sprint there, the fastest possible way to move, so they can make it. In addition to that, they have to learn to move when the ball moves, and they can only do that when they learn to anticipate to move when the shoulders of the passer turn. So they have to look at the ball, they have to look at the passer, and they have to read the passer's action, so they can move on time, and they can get in position on time. Okay? Good. So now, as we all know, um, we, we can do this for a very long time. Players will lose motivation. These exercises, yes, at the beginning, maybe they are motivated. We can do penalties. But to, to keep this intensity, uh, to raise this on a game level, we need to do a competition. And so I want to do the same unit I showed two days ago. Coordination training, skill training, final. We do a, coordination, uh, we do a competition. And here's one defense football competition. First of all, okay, how to use our hands in help side. Okay, what, what I teach my players is not to be in help side like this or like this. Okay? Teach my players to be in help side like that. Hands up here. Because when we have our hands up here, we can move our arms the fastest possible way. This is a fast motion, fast motion. We can intercept our chest passes right here, that's fast. And we can bring the hand down, boom, for the bounce pass too. While when we have the arms down, it's a slow motion to bring the arms up. Okay? So you have to learn to be in help side like this to cover space, to cover space, okay? to make the floor small. And that's what we do here. Okay? You are in help, you're, you're protecting this cone here and have your hands here. When the, when the pass is given, you go step, 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 hands here. Okay? And you move from here and you go step, 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 hands here. Your goal is to hit the cones, okay? You want to hit, boom, 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 the cones. If you hit the cones, you get a point on offense, okay? If you steal the ball or they can't hit the cone, then it's a defense point, okay? Two points win. Loser, five push-ups. You can pass everywhere. You can pass anywhere, okay? The, the problem is you have maximum six passes here. You can pass more than six times up and down. But you can pass in any time. Okay, understand? Good. Down. Hello. Now, don't be too wide, because if you're too wide, you have to start with this foot, then you don't move. You come too late. Okay? So feet a little wider than shoulders. Okay? Bum, bum. Step, 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 and you're on time. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Boom. One, two, three. Okay, that's one, one. That's one, one. Next, next point wins. Next point wins. Let's go. Two, three. Okay, so now offense loses, five push-ups. Let's go, five push-ups. You get back to the line, new offense comes in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pass the ball back, you go back to the line. And go, defense. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
and hence, and hence. Hence, boom, good. Stop, 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 look, look, what we see here. Again, little thing that makes a big difference, okay? He's so wide in this direction, he always starts with his left foot. And when you start with the left foot, your body doesn't move at all. Okay, this direction you're good. I don't know why, but this direction you start with the outside foot. Okay, this direction you always start with the inside foot, so you're one step late. Okay, push off your outside foot and start with your inside foot first. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hands. Good. Oh. I, I can tell you another point, God. <laughs> you, you can. You sh this is not soccer. You should not pass in between. You must hit the cones, okay? That's not a goal. <laughs> Three. Okay. Good. That's 2 0. Okay, five push ups and so on. So now, look, we have to save time. Yes, five push ups. Move this cone to three point line, please. Move this cone to three point line. Okay. And, and here's a, a very good variation that's very much game-like. Okay. We have now the passer on the cone level here. Free throw line extended, level of the cone. Same thing over there. You give baseball passes, okay? One hand baseball passes, up and down. Yes, very good. Okay, so now, look, stop, 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 stop. What we do here is when the ball's on this side, ball's on this side, okay? You are denying, you are denying. Chin on the shoulder so you see the ball. Okay, pass given, boom, intercept the ball. Now when the pass is given, okay, or when the shoulders turn here, pivot, pivot, elbow down, pivot to sprint position. Now the way is too long to slide. If you slide, you come too late. Okay, you must sprint, sprint here. Okay, and when I move from help to deny, use the same footwork. Okay, we pivot first, we push off the outside foot, sprint, boom, deny and pivot, and sprint, and pivot, push, deny, okay? Great players, again, sprint to position, terrible players slide to position, we need to be fast, okay? Same thing, six passes, okay? But you can pass in any time before, okay? Let's go, let's go, boom, and move! One, two, okay? Move the defense more, okay? After two passes, still in position, one zero for defense, and go. One, two, careful. <laughs> Coach is not involved. He, he doesn't play in this game, okay? Pass your teammate. Let's go. Three, four, five, pass. Okay, sliding too late, okay? One, 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 next, next point wins. Next point wins. Let's go, get back to position, deny. And go. Good, and sprint. Good. And sprint. And sprint. Okay, good. So now de defense, five push-ups and change. Let's go. Good. And next, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Move, move. What are you doing? Deny. And help. And deny. Ooh. Some classes. Okay, good. Let's go. Move. Deny. And help. And deny. And help. And deny. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Five push ups and change. Go on. This last one. Go, 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 go. One zero. And go, let's go. And deny, 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 deny. And sprint, sprint, and sprint. It's two zero, no, one one, right? Did you hit the coin first time? It was one one now, right? Two two. Two zero, two zero. Two two is impossible. Okay, good. Then five push ups, losing team. Okay, okay, and 
the most important ability we need for rebounding is overhead orientation. Overhead orientation. Okay? And I believe that many players don't struggle with the techniques. They have good boxing out techniques, they play physical, they love the contact. Um, many of them have good spacing, but they have one big problem. They can't find the ball. And if you can't find the ball, you just can't jump on time. You can't get a good timing to get the ball in the highest possible point in the air. So this is the ability we need to level up first uh, before we go into rebounding practice. Okay? And that's uh, what I want to show first now. Okay. Who's a rebounder? A good rebounder? See a rebounding machine? Okay, good. Let's see. Let's see if he's a rebounding machine. Give you the ball. Okay. Now look, you are here, okay, and you give a one-hand snap pass against the backboard above the rim, beside the rim. Okay? One hand snap pass. Ball cannot touch the floor. Okay, let's go. Come here. Okay, good. Let's go. Pass. Okay, one more time. Pass. Okay, good. Now, coaches, we work on the methodic principles of uh, coordination training. We say, first of all, we go from easy to difficult, from known to unknown. So we start with something he already knows, okay? and it's the pass. The pass he already knows. And now we go to something unknown, and we make it more complex, simple to complex. Okay? What we do now is give me one more ball, please. One more ball. And now we load. We make it more and more complex, so he is challenged. Okay? Now what you do is, after you pass the ball against the backboard, you turn to me, you touch this ball with both hands, turn around and catch. Okay? Both hands touch and catch. Let's go. Pass, turn around, both hands, both hands. Okay? Both hands, go. Pass, both hands, touch, good. One more time. Okay, stop. Very good. It's too easy for him. Way too easy. Now we make a pass in between. Okay, now you go, one hand pass, right hand, turn around, catch, pass, left hand, turn around, catch, and don't forget to smile. Okay, you must smile. You watch that he's smiling, okay? You watch he's smiling. Okay, good. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> yes, left, only left, only left. Get, get this ball, get this ball. Quick, 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 let's go. Okay. But, but, but hey, hey, you, you can catch the ball. Catch the ball and pass with the left hand. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, look, this is, this is absolutely typical. You know, what I was waiting for this moment. I was waiting because this is what usually happens. Okay? You could see that the simple pass was very easy for him. He could easily hit the target. Okay? And now we give him just one more complex task, just one more pass, and suddenly he can't hit the target there and he can't hit the target here. Okay? Because he is lacking orientation. That's what happens in the game. Okay? In the game, we see so many times we get the rebound and then boom, outlet pass, pass right out of bounds. Crazy turnover, right? So many times we did it in the game, even at top level. Okay? We saw it yesterday too in the games. So many times outlet pass, boom, right out of bounds. Okay? That's, that's what all we can afford. But still, he was not doing bad. It's too easy for you. Okay? Now look, you pass the ball here. Now we give you one more touch. Okay? I'm here with the ball. Okay? You pass the ball with the right hand. Make one touch. Catch the ball. Pass with your left hand. Turn around and catch. And smile. Yes? Easy? Piece of cake? Peanuts? Okay, let's go. One and pass first, one and pass first. Just one and pass. And catch, one more time. Good, ball. Turn around, touch, two hands, two hands. Touch, two hands, catch, good. Two hands, catch, very good. Two hands, catch, you don't smile, you must smile. Yes, very good, stop. And, <laughs> and now we pass, okay? Now we pass, left hand pass, back to me, okay? Catch, catch, and pass, okay? Both hand catch, both hand catch, and left hand snap pass. Okay? Good. And go. Good. And one more time. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now give him the ball, give him the ball. Go here. Now one touch. Pass, touch, catch, pass, catch, smile. Yes. 
One more time. Come on. Boy, can I touch the floor? Good. Catch it. Good. One more time. Good. Come on. One more time. Yes. Very good. Very good. Must, must stop. <laughs> I said very good too early. That's, my, that's a common mistake as a coach, but not bad. Okay? Now, too easy. He can do it. We must load him more. Okay? Last one. Last one. Now we see how good you really are. Okay? Now two touches. Come here. Pass, touch, catch, pass, touch, catch, smile. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> okay. One more time. You can do it. You can. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> What's going on? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good, good. But again, coaches, I think the message is clear. Imagine, imagine how good he can be, how good he can be with this body, with this size, with this good athletic abilities. If he has, if he can master this, he has this kind of orientation level. That will make a big difference in terms of rebounding. Because if he finds the ball much earlier than the opponent, he can jump on time, he can get the ball in the highest possible point, Okay? And um, if you have the choice between great jumping ability and jumping on time, what would we take? We take jumping on time, right? This is much, much more important. The importance is to get the ball at the highest possible point in the air. And that has not too much to do with jumping ability. It has something to do with timing, with finding the ball, orientation, differentiation. Okay? And that's what we all train here. Okay? Good. Okay, I need to hurry. So now we're going to sk skill training. And I, I want to show you what I teach players, especially when we have a size problem or when we have a problem of athletic abilities. Okay? Um, give, me, give me the rebounding machine. Come here. You have the rebounding machine here. Yes. Okay, stay here, stay here. Good, good. And, and you shoot the ball from three-point line there. Okay, good. No ball, no ball. Okay, so now where do most balls come down in rebounding? Okay, where are most offensive rebounds taken? In the middle of the floor, right? Only very few offensive rebounds come down here. Okay, come down out there. Most offensive rebounds are taken right in the middle of the floor. Okay, as a general rule, Okay, when you shoot the ball from here, okay, ball would come down opposite side half range, probably here. Okay? So that means for us, if you want to play smart, we don't allow him to go to the spot. Okay? We can't allow him to go to the middle. Because if he goes to the middle, he's much more athletic than me, he's much taller than me, he will kill me. He will get a second shot here. So when I'm in help side here, okay, and the ball is shot, I would turn. I would make a front turn. And right in between him and the ball. So that means I'm in his way. When he wants to go to the middle, he can't. He has to run through me. Most players would go the easy way. Most players would go here. And I hit him with the front turn. Now look where he is. Okay? He is away from where the ball comes down. So size doesn't hurt anymore. Okay? His size and his athletic ability can't hurt me. Okay? So this is smart. If you don't have the size, if you don't have the athletic ability, then play intelligent, play smart. Okay? Force him to a spot where the ball doesn't come down. Okay? The only difficulty here is, and this may be a little strange, is you must make two turns. Okay? You're on help side, and now we are on, on this pivoting issue again. Okay? We pivot, we pivot, we pivot. Okay? And basically, coaches, I don't teach reverse pivots anymore for boxing out, except in the block, except for, for big man rebounding. But for us, uh, boxing out outside, for outside players, I, I only teach front turns, okay, for two reasons. One reason is I don't want to give up the middle. I want to keep the middle clean. And the second reason is it's much easier to jump off a front turn, biomechanic-wise, than off a reverse turn. Off a reverse turn, it's difficult to jump. Front turn, it's much easier to jump. So what I want you to do is front turn, front turn, rebound, okay? So front turn, okay, front turn, boom, go get the rebound, okay? 
That's the first case if he goes to baseline. Okay? If he goes to the middle, okay, because he knows he's smart, he knows where the ball comes down. If he goes to the middle, I make a front turn. Okay? And when he comes here, I grab my uniform, I make legal contact. I can't do this, that's a foul. Okay? I grab my uniform, make contact with my forearm right here, boom. I check him and then I go get the ball. Or if he pushes me, he's behind me, I tip the ball to my teammate. Okay? In any case, I don't allow him to come to the middle. Okay? So now give me the ball. Okay. You go there, please. Help side. Okay. Now look, I say box. Okay? Box is the call for box out. Okay? When, you, when you hear box, you make a front turn. Okay? One foot must stay inside the paint. Okay? One foot must stay inside the paint, and you must you just make a straight cut here, straight cut here. You hit him with your butt, hit him with your butt, your hands are between head and shoulders in this corridor here, okay? and then you go get the ball. All right? What I do is I say box, and one second later, one second later, I boom, put the ball down like this. Okay? And then you jump on time. You jump on time that you can grab the ball on the highest possible point in the air. Okay? Ready? Box! Okay, grab the ball. Okay, can you do this, please? <laughs> I'm struggling with the high tech. Let's go. First box. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. You say box, and then you put the ball down. Okay, box, front turn, front turn. Box, good. And a little higher, a little higher. He has no chance to get it. Okay, a little higher. And then, and then change. Something's wrong with this equipment here. <laughs> Is this Russian? Okay, I, I, I just hold it. Front turn, front turn, rebound. Okay, let's go. Let's go, one more time. Go get a ball. Go get a ball. Okay, change. Let's go. First box. Box, and then one second later. Box. Stop. <laughs> pivot. Okay? Now we are back to this pivoting issue. Okay? You're on help set here. Pivot. Boom. Yeah. Fast. Okay? Heel up, heel up, pivot. Okay? If you're too far in, if you're too far in, okay, so your blade like help side, now if you make just a pivot like this, you're not far out enough. So you must start with the open step. Okay? You're here, open step, pivot. It's all about pivoting, okay? Pivot, open step, pivot, front turn. Go get the ball. Oh yeah, stay here, stay here, stay, stay like this. Okay, good, and go, box, good, and go. See, see that, that was a reverse turn. If you, if you go like this, okay, the athletic big man will kill you, okay? So you must show him you are right in the middle, okay? You must make him think, I'm here. Boom. You must make him think, yes, automatically, most players will go the easy way. Most players will go there because you're already here, right? So you show him your presence here, okay? And if he goes there where you want him to go, you hit him with the front turn and you go get the ball. All right? Let's go. One more time. Okay, good. Stop. Good coaches, we are running out of time, so I want to show you now the competition where we can uh, really work on that in a game-like situation. Okay. Now we get uh, teams of two, two players together. Got a big man and a smaller player. Okay, a center with a guard or a, a wing with a wing. Okay, so we have equal balance, size balance within the teams. Okay, who's your partner? Okay, good. So you stay in elbow, you stay in elbow, you go to the wing, low wing. Good, low wing, good, that's fine. All right, um, Marek, who's your partner? Who's your partner? Okay, come here, come here. Come here, Marek. Okay, now look. Here's the exercise, okay? You guys are on baseline, please. On baseline, on baseline. Okay, we pass the ball to elbow, okay? With the pass, you close out. But you close out from the middle. You close out from the middle, okay? Don't close out like this and let him go to the middle because this is where the ball comes down, right? So you must close out from the middle here, okay? 
like this, okay, as a teaching point, you put your nose on his inside shoulder right here, so he can go to the middle. Nose on the inside shoulder right there, okay? When he shoots, don't touch him, don't touch him, okay? Let him, let him finish his shooting action. Meantime, you can turn. If you make contact, you don't make contact with your, with your arms, you make contact with your butt, and you go get the ball, okay? And you do the same what we have just done, okay? Once he catches the ball, you're on help side first, okay? And Marek will give you the call. He will say, box. Okay? And with the box, front turn. Okay? You close the middle, you make him go baseline, okay? make him go baseline, and then you go get the ball. Okay? And once you get the ball, shoot the ball back. Because if you make the second shot, you have one point. Okay? That's the rule. Even if he makes the basket, don't block the shot. Okay? Even if he makes the basket, get the ball and shoot it back. Okay? You go and crash the boards, you get offensive rebound. You shoot and then offensive rebound. Okay? He shoots when the ball leaves his hand, you can go get a rebound, okay? When you grab the rebound, try to shoot the ball back. For the second shot, you get one point, okay? Ready, go. Box. Good, 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 good. Get a ball, get a ball, and shoot, and shoot, and shoot, shoot. Rebound. Okay, good. Now one point. You are out. Marek is on elbow, okay? Partner's there. Yeah, you're out. Marek's partner's there. You're out, out. Next team comes in. Come here. Okay. You close out on the ball, you're on help side, front turn, front turn, rebound, you close out on the shooter, okay? And go, and go, and box. Stop, stop, stop. Why, why was he able to touch the ball? Why was he able to touch the ball? Because, because you did this, right? He still could go to the middle. So be in a better position, be right between him, and if you want to go to the middle, contact, boom, and now go get the ball. Okay, you don't have to turn, you just make contact with your, with your uh, forearm, you check him and go get a ball, and go. Box, good, good, and get a ball, get a ball, good, and shoot. That's good, that's nice, that's nice. Very good boxing out, very good boxing out. Nice job, nice job. Okay, point, go there. And go, and box, get a ball, get a ball, and shoot, and shoot. Get a ball, okay. Point, 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 point. You stay in offense, okay? A little more out, a little more out. Don't go too early. When the ball leaves the hand, you can go, all right? Ready? And go. Box. No reverse turns, no reverse turns. Front turn, no middle. Close out, come on. Let's go. Rebound and box. Okay, good. Offense, offense. Next. Ball, ball, ball. And go. Stop, stop, stop. See that? He goes to the middle. He goes to the middle. The ball comes down here. It's an easy, easy put back. Okay? Easy second shot. Don't give him the second shot in the middle. Okay? Imagine you're playing against a super athletic, super tall player. You can let him go to the middle. Okay? You always force him to baseline. Okay? Push him behind the backboard. Get him to a spot where no ball is. And then it doesn't matter how tall he is. It doesn't matter how athletic he is. He's going to get a rebound. Okay? And go. Get a ball. Come on, rebound, rebound. Okay. Good ball. Good. Stop. Okay, you go there. Now look, we change, we change, change. Now, coaches, um, here's a good variation to this competition. Okay. This is very much game-like, because in a game we have defense rotations, and because of the rotations, many times we have mismatches. And the uh, most problematic mismatch is on the rotation when the point guard has to go for help the helper defense to baseline, okay, and the big man is on baseline. And that's what we now create, the situation. Okay? Now we make the big man close out on the shooter, and the small player has to box out on the big man. Okay? And here's the thing now, okay? you do the same thing, Okay? You try to force him baseline. Okay? You try to push him in. You try to push him in. Okay? What you do now is if he pushes into the middle, contact and now leave. But if he's still behind you, if you feel contact, he's behind you, big man behind you, take your outside hand and tip the ball to your teammate. You tip it. Okay? So make contact here. Boom. Tip. Teammate. Boom. Okay? Go up and dunk it. Okay? Just the American team yesterday. Okay? Go up and dunk it. Right? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Boom. And get it. Tip it. Ooh.
Come on, that's not out of bounds. Get a ball. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And rebound. Okay. Okay. Now look, guys, you do a nice job boxing out a rebound the very first time, but what about a second shot, the third shot, the fourth shot? You're only standing and watching the ball. Fight for position. Do the same thing. Okay? Push him behind the backboard. Okay? Fight for position. Be physical. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. And box. Good. And tip. Oh, don't let him catch the ball. Come on. And get it. Shoot. Yes. Good try. Let's go. Rebound, rebound, box out. Come on, no middle, no middle. Don't let him go to the middle. Okay, let's go, last one, last one, last one. Let's go. Good move, good move, good move, good move, Marek. You, you scored, you're on offense. You scored, you're on offense. Come on, let's go. And go, boom. Okay, good, good. All right. Good guys. All right. We are done here with the players. Okay. Please give them a hand. Did a nice job. Okay. Good guys. You can, you can sit down. Take the ball. Good coaches. Uh, I tried to, you know, emphasize pivoting a lot and hopefully I could, I could get the message through why I do that. Okay. I, I believe that with good pivoting with good footwork, we have a chance um, to pace up the game on the defensive end. Okay? What I showed at the end, the, the rebounding at the end, was something, some, some adjustment I had to do in the past years uh, when I coached in Japan. I, I basically had a team with no real center player. We had no player above two meters, while the other teams had huge players, NBA guys, and uh, it was really difficult to compete with them. But with the smallest team in the league we had, we had the best rebounding team, so we, we were able to win a championship. Obviously, rebounding is very uh, crucial for that. Um, and, you know, I changed into this concept to force baseline, to keep the middle clean. And uh, what was good that, you know, um, Coach Obradovic said yesterday, players must believe in what they teach. And I was a little worried that players uh, don't believe in the concept because it's something unusual for them. It's something they haven't done before. And uh, what was good, like in the half of the season, they came to me and said, Coach, you know, that was a pretty good idea. That helped us a lot to improve our rebounding. And it, um, it was a good strategy to uh, control the boards, even against taller and more athletic teams. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Please, if you have any questions, now is the time to, to ask. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.